stream. This one's going to be another long one, I imagine. I'm going to be asking the question of if I can be Pokemon Fire Red with only a Dratini. Now, I have Dratini's stats pulled up right here. With a total of 300. They're actually kind of bad. The only decent one is its attack stat, which sucks because in Gen 3, Dragon type is a purely special status. There's no physical Dragon type moves in Gen 3 because Generation 4, the the Sinnoh games is the first time where the physical special split happens in that it's the specific moves, not the types themselves. With that being said, we do have a chance in the move set because while there isn't much variety in level up, and by that I mean I don't even get a decent attacking move until level 15, the TM list is going to provide a lot of coverage. So that's going to be very helpful. Unfortunately, some of the best ones like Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Flamethrower are locked behind the game corner. So I may need to make use of an Amulet Coin or a Versus Seeker in order to grind up enough money in order to pay for those in case I need them. There's also the fact that Dratini does not learn Dragon Pulse which sucks, and Dragon Breath is an egg move, meaning the best options for my Dragon-type attack are Twister with a base 40 power, Dragon Rage with a single base power, the only amount of damage it can do is 40, or Outrage, which does a ton, but it locks you in, and it stops you from using, and it causes confusion. Magikarp, no items in battle, that's cruel and unusual punishment. Quite frankly, um, other people have done that. that. I figured Dratini might be fun. I don't remember ever seeing anyone trying this one. So, I don't plan on doing a Magikarp, no items in battle. I don't even know if I'll not use items in battle for this. I've never done a solo run. I've done a few monotypes and a few nuzlocks, but definitely nothing like this. So I expect a lot of grinding. Alright, that being said... And if I plan on using the speed up, I will turn off the game sound so it doesn't like harass your Pokemon Omega Ruby playing through with a grass monotype type, so that's fun. That one's just for fun though, I don't have a 3DS capture card or anything. Any suggestions for his main? I don't really care. Like, I'll just play him in blue or something.
just... Sorry about that. Okay. I think I'm just gonna name it blue. Oh! Well, let's see if I can fix that. Is that any better, Andrew? Alright, fantastic. So the one change I used using the Universal Pokemon Randomizer is switching one of the starters for... Ah, fantastic! Welcome, Daph! So the one change that I made was switching one of the starters with Dratini. Everything else is the same as it should be in the base game. I didn't do any randomizers, as fun as that would be. So it actually took a bit of thinking for me to figure out which starter I wanted to switch out because Dragon resists fire, water, grass, and electricity. So I didn't switch Bulbasaur. I switched Squirtle. I chose this because this way my Rival will have a Venusaur, and that's so that the other members of his team include an Arcanine and a Gyarados, both of which have Intimidate, which lowers my attack stat, making it a lot harder to actually fight them. Alright. Yes, I will nickname it. It's a female dragon and it... I know what I'm gonna name it. It's a noodle dragon. So I'm probably going to lose this first battle because the only moves I have... <laughs> I did think about it, but it is a Noodle Dragon. Good on you with the Fairy Tale reference though, Andrew. Alright, so the only moves I know are Wrath and Leer. <laughs> I don't know if that's in this game, Dav, but I will consider finding Cream Bread. You really are, Andrew. You really are just a walking fairy tale reference. Which means you should be excited to know I plan on streaming the game when it comes out at the end of July. It's gonna be fun.
Yep, figured. So, that's one of the problems with this run, is that at the front end, grinding is going to stink. I need to get to level 15 to learn another move. So, I'm going to be taking advantage of the Viridian Forest. A lot. This is gonna suck. Meaning I can't take on Brock until I get Twister at level 15. But there is a benefit to that, in that I have, let's see, what button do I have the menu saved to? Nope. Hmm. Could have sworn I had the menu to save to something. Yeah, I know he's your favorite, Andrew. Alright, I'm gonna go in, see if I can find my controls, and see if I can fix this, because I kind of need the menu. This is weird. Sorry about this, I have never done this before, so it's kind of a work in progress. Aha! It's shift. Okay, Pokemon. Elma. Shed skin. Okay, so that's going to help with grinding in Viridian Forest. That means that any status conditions like hypnosis or poison are going to be very temporary. So that's definitely a very good thing to have. Oh, before I forget... Hex speed to fast, and I am going to change battle cinematics to off until the first gym. All right. Lovely. So another problem is I don't get the running shoes to make this go faster until after I beat Brock. So fortunately I've got a button for that. Yeah, so this is going to take a while, so... Huh. Another fun thing that makes this just awful is that Dratini is a pseudo-legendary dragon type, meaning its EXP growth rate is slow. And also there's the fact that a level 3 Pidgey can just kill me whenever it wants. Okay, so I do have a strategy though. Okay. Okay, level three killed me, so I need... <laughs> it's a little cursed, I know. There we go. While I'm using speed up, I'll have the music turned off. Okay, so... <sighs> My only option, at least for now... <laughs> You've heard sped up Pokemon music before, Andrew? When was that? Do you watch challenge runs a lot or something? Yay, Pokeballs! They're gonna be so useful to me. Really? Green? Do you mean leaf green or the original green? Because I can't see that being too much fun.
Oh hey, catching tutorial. That's just what I need as a veteran of this series. 100% necessary. Okay, so what I need to do in order to, you know, actually function is find wild metapod. Oh, you haven't found a new one? I might be able to help with that, Andrew. I've got files for every game from Gen 3 to Gen 5. Don't have an emulator for the 3DS games, but the DS games I do at least. Alright. So, as you can see, this is going to be a very exhaustive process. We... Nope. I think we can take that. Wild Pikachu. And I died again. Yay. Well, I've got a few. Um, is it the Visual Boy Advance? I think it might... If so, I have that one as well, and I can share that file with you. My gosh, how hard are Metapod to find? Okay, we take those. One level down, nine to go. <laughs> oh my god, this is gonna suck. So another part of the issue is that I will run out of power points very quickly. Like, I already need to go back and heal. <laughs> Duly noted, Andrew. You replaying one of the KH games, or is this just Royal and a few others? We. This is so much fun. If the gym was any other type than rock, I might have been able to get away with not grinding as much. But normal type moves, like rap, don't do much against rock types. So here I am. In a situation that's made for suffering. The stat growth is alright, though, at least, I think.
All right, yeah. Hasty. I think that ups my speed. Tales, Berseria, Vesperia. Tales of Hearts are Persona 4 Golden and Final Fantasy 15. Wow, you do have a lot in, on your play. That's kind of nuts. Oh, actually, I have something for this. So, because I turned off the stream, the music for that, because I'm using Speed Up. I actually have some lo-fi Pokemon music, because why the heck not? <laughs> Andrew is an RPG nut, Dab. Do you ever want to gush about Kingdom Hearts? You can do that with him. Because I will not get it. Not from Andrew's lack of trying, though. He He's done his best. <laughs> I don't mind if my chat's filled with KH discussions, really, so feel free if you want to. Because unlike Mass Effect, this is just going to be chilling out and chatting for the most part. Because right now I have nothing to do except... Slowly hey, raise my stats. You keep jumping around between them, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. Sometimes you're in the mood for one RPG over another. It just happens. Yeah, I understand the investment, Dav. Ventus Crit Run. Well, that sounds obnoxious, quite frankly. Why would you do that to yourself? I mean, here I am playing this, so... I can kind of understand the gimmick of doing a challenge for yourself. Because I'm in the situation where Pokemon games are... Almost too easy unless I add some kind of challenge to myself. Beat Vanita's first try. Oh, that's the son of a that was thrown through one of the doors at Monster Zinc in KH3. I know that much at least, because the joke is Vietus. Because that door was thrown through another door, and that door was thrown through another door, and then that door got shredded. Vietus. Okay, so as KH fans, you have to tell me, what was the most merciless thing in KH3? Was it Vegetus or was it Woody just terrorizing young Xehanort? Oh, hey, I learned Thunder Wave. That's so useful. It actually might be useful later. It just doesn't mean anything for us right now. And it won't even help against Brock, because they are immune to electric-type moves. Yeah, from what I gather, that was pretty unexpected, and people just loved it. I like how without the context of Kingdom Hearts, the sentence Woody was pretty savage just doesn't make any sense. So that's pretty entertaining.
it really was just a painful dialogue to witness. Like, I'm 80% sure young Xehanort went home and cried after that. Like, that, that, that was just a bird. Oh, hey, it's Lavender Town. Watch out, people. Spoopy ghost noises. Okay, at least I'm getting to the point where I can at least hurt things that aren't metapods. So that should start speeding things up, especially as I get more HP and defense. Really, there's that much of an inconsistency, Andrew? Standard mode's the easiest game in the series, but crit's one of the hardest? That's an un that's an insane difficulty spike. Like, that is a painful spike to think about, my god. I mean, it's impressive. Clearly... Oh, wasn't critical mode added later? So I guess they realized people weren't the proudest of how easy it was. So that's a nice touch on the devs part then. Yeah, it's DLC. Makes sense. So, good for them for realizing people wanted things to be harder. <laughs> Nomura took that as a challenge. Certainly sounds like it. I mean... Nothing says a challenge as someone complaining an RPG. <laughs> no more will challenge anything that triggers his fancy. That's the kind of vibe I get when I hear people talk about him. Like, he seems like the kind of person to troll, but also do it in a fun way that everyone will appreciate later. Ah, proud in between standard and crit. How's that compare, Andrew? Is that better? Like, more what you'd want out of a KH game? Oh, that would be Black and White, a cover of the Gen 5 anime intro. Uh, there's also the fact that rap doesn't have much accuracy. Embrace the wackiness, huh? Well, that doesn't sound too bad. I mean, you guys have a villain that's voiced by Leonard Nimoy. Or was voiced by Nimoy. So, I think that's just the start of it. The attractions, they make things stupid easy, right? At least that's what I've heard. Xehanort Curse. That sounds so much more ominous than it is. Like... That really sounds threatening. I shall put you under the Xehanort Curse. I don't even know what that voice was supposed to be. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's horrifying. That... Okay, everyone that voiced Xehanort has died? Yeah, okay, maybe don't hire people to voice him anymore. Like, I know when they were making KH3, uh, the voice actor for Phil in Japanese died, and that's why he doesn't say a word in any of the other languages, out of respect for that VA, right? 
Oh, just old man Xehanort. Okay, that's better. Like, you know, partially. That's partially better. Oh, man. That critical hit just made it so I can do, like, one more before I leave. Thank goodness. Look at that, I'm not even level 10 yet. Attraction cheese, any fight? Well, there's nothing wrong with some good old fashioned cheese, but I can understand the issue. Plot relevant rhythm game. Oh, and you're a fan of Persona too. I was ranting about that the other day, actually. Why are there plot relevant rhythm games? It's better than a Gashapon, I suppose, but still, why would you do that? Uh, Kingdom Hearts does have a good soundtrack from what I've heard. But yeah, the rhythm name thing can't even just be given to Kingdom Hearts. Persona did it. I've seen some gameplay of the Persona ones. It doesn't look like something I'd want to be anywhere near. Like, the amount of suffering. God, okay. Out of PowerPoints. Gotta run again. I mean, they do have bopping soundtracks, so I understand why they make a rhythm game, but why make them at least somewhat relevant to plot? It's better than a plot relevant Gashapon. Didn't Kingdom Hearts have one of those? I would have loved to have something right now, like a quick claw. Just some way to make this go faster. And I'm already speeding up the game a lot. Weed. The plot is just a bit <laughs> their excuse to have more quirky plot moments. I mean, yeah, that sounds about right. Xehanort mobile game. My gosh. Union Cross. Entire backstory of... Keyblade War. Yeah, I think you ranted about that for a while, didn't you, Andrew? That the entire backstory of one of the most important events in Kingdom Hearts is part of a mobile game. Like... can't even rely on rap to be consistent. That's fun. You'd kill to get Union and Dot Urk Road off mobile. Yeah, the problem is if they port it to anything, it might be crud. Couldn't keep up with it? Gonna w wait until it comes out and watch the summary? That's a good strat. Like, that's probably one of the best things about how long it took for me to get into Fairy Tale. It finished before I got into it, so I could binge the entire thing instead of waiting ages for the rest of it to come out. So there was a good reason to wait to watch it, Andrew. Comic or an MMO like 14? Oh yeah, 14, Final Fantasy 14 was an MMO. That was a thing that happened.
So, a manga like K KH2 got a manga? I know KH1 got one. I actually, yeah, I've actually seen that around. Didn't know that KH2 got one, but I suppose that makes sense. <laughs> Yearly exp- Oh yeah, I remember seeing a commercial for the Shadowbringer expansion, which had Tom Holland. Tokyo Pop. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Ah, old man, get out of the way. Okay, I'm in a bit better of a situation now that I can actually do some form of damage to enemies. But still, this sucks. Okay, it takes about three wraps to kill a Caterpie, and as long as they all hit. Cage one, rechain, two, three, five, eight over two days, and three all have manga. Wow. And that's not even close to the entire series. So even if you just chose to read the manga adaptations, you'd be missing a lot. Okay, can this work or no? No, it could not. Thanks, Def. Yeah, I can't take credit for making them. They're created by someone named Game Chops on YouTube. They also did a Legend of Zelda soundtrack with a similar style if you're interested. Days is one of the cutest and sad mangas you've ever read. Oh, yeah. At this point, I think that summarizes Kingdom Hearts, doesn't it? One of the cutest and saddest things people have experienced. Manga Zeon is too cute for what happens to her sob. Oh, poor Zion. <laughs> Days itself is one of the cutest and saddest things you've ever experienced. Seems like great minds, you two. Shion, okay. The X throws me off. <laughs> Are you two mind reading? Look at this! <laughs> Shion! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> God, okay, I couldn't have scripted that. Well played. Shion, I'm sorry. Gosh, you KH fans. I said it wrong and it caused you physical pain. Okay, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I really am. Amongst your people. So you are, Dav. Andrew here is one of the biggest KH fans that I can think of. So, that's why I said you guys could feel free to chat about that. Because ain't nothing happening on screen for a while. Man, thank goodness for the speed up button. I can't imagine how long this would take otherwise. Well, actually I can because it'll show me when I hit save. Because the emulator is running at a very fast speed right now. It's about 800 consistently. So imagine this times eight. Yeah, definitely too dang long. That's why I'm doing this. I plan on only doing it for grinding though. I don't want to miss any important parts of battles. Hmm. Okay, I think one more level and I'll start taking on the trainers. That way I'll actually be able to get more EXP. 
I told you, dragon types get EXP slowly. Like, I think there's a slowest, so that's why this would take forever. On the bright side, as soon as I get Twister, things will really start picking up. Alright, it takes... Wait, it still takes three to take a, down a Caterpie? Wow. Unless I get a lucky crit. That's disappointing. I thought I'd be doing better. Oh, no, no. It depends on the level. Wow. Yeah, this is awful. Yo, metal version of the original Pokemon intro. Right you are, Dav, that is Nate Wants the Battle, and the guitar is Richard E.B., both YouTubers and both huge nerds. Really, I was right outside the Pokemon Center. Good job, Shed Skin, you did fantastic. Yeah, you thought it was Seven Rings in Hand? Sorry, not that. That's not thematic. What are you doing? Yeah. Pokemon stuff, my dude. Not gonna sneak in a Sonic song, at least not on purpose. Don't think there's one in there. Seven badges in hand, but I need eight though. Would be nice to have seven, but then since I'm a level 12, it would take forever to grind. Okay. I'm getting there. Probably maybe one or two more trips to the center, and I should be able to start picking on trainers in there. One at a time, of course. I'm not a madman. This is from the anime, though. Like, I know you haven't played too many Pokemon games, but that's no excuse for not knowing one of the most iconic songs in anime. Even if it's a metal cover. Right, it just threw you off. I get you. Pikachu! Die, you fool. And I'm paralyzed. Oh. Talking about the bed. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, Gary freaking Oak in the anime got 10, so I can see why there'd be a lot of confusion there. But, it's always been 8 badges, except for Sun and Moon, which just destroyed the entire formula. I appreciate they were trying to do something new and interesting, I just don't think it worked out as well as they would have hoped. Hearts of Yellow and Sword and Shield. Well, hey, there's always time, especially since, hopefully, they're going to be making Pokemon games for a long while yet. Alright, 13, that should be enough. I'm going to go heal. That's with the Kahunas, four of them. Uh, yeah, each of the islands in Sun and Moon had a island Kahuna, but then there was also the Trial Captains. 
I don't remember exactly how many of those there are. As soon as Sword has a decent sales, I'll probably... Yeah. Uh, Nintendo is very picky about putting their mainline games on sale, so don't expect that to happen too often. Damn it, Nintendo, indeed. And they know what they're doing. Like, could be worse. Plus, frankly, in my opinion, I think they won the console war this year without even entering, so... They do have good ideas. Could be Konami. You are exactly right. Konami is just a plague. Look at that. Actual visible EXP gain from trainers. Yeah, Konami is just awful at what they do. And they turn everything into gashapons. Wow, okay. He had more Pokemon than I thought. But even the very year I bought my Switch, I still log more hours on my PS4. Well, yeah, that makes sense, Andrew. Pokemon games are one of the big time sinks on the Switch. So is Zelda games, but you don't play too many of those either. So it just makes at least some sense that you log more hours into the PS4. Eh, I've always been a Nintendo fan, so take my opinion with a grain of salt if you'd like. Licensing out their games to Sony? That'd be interesting. Yay, he ran out of Pokemon. At least I won't run out of money because this is one of the games where you get the Versus Seeker. Where you can walk around, charge it up, and always had a Nintendo or PlayStation console. A few Xbox ones, but it's never. Yeah, it's really not. And I will give Sony credit where credit is due. Their exclusives are insane. Like, Xbox cannot compete with the exclusivity of Sony games. Yeah, if Konami licensed out their games to Sony, that would be amazing. I mean, of course, that just means they'll... <laughs> Silent Hill could finally exist. Yeah, wasn't the last Silent Hill thing that came...
All right. So I'm gonna turn battle animations back on because it's time to take on the gym. So I'm gonna turn down the chilled out groove and turn back on the sound for this. And let's do it. Real quick, I'm gonna show you what is one of the weird parts of Generation 3. Okay, so my special attack is lower than my attack, which kind of sucks because my one stab move, Twister, is a special attack. And I don't learn any physical dragon attacks because they don't exist. Don't think Switch will ever get three. It pushes PS4 to the limits and Switch is weaker. Yeah, you know, that's a fair point. It would need it to be a downgraded version and why would anyone buy that? So, Generation 3 is before the special physical split. Meaning that any moves that are the types of evolutions plus Dragon are special. That's Fire, Water, Electric, Dragon, Psychic, Dark, Grass and ice. I forgot about Glaceon and Leafeon for some reason. So, this is going to be entertaining. I'm going into this with my weaker stat. But I'm also higher level than Brock's team, so who knows. Oh, wow. Okay, so this actually works out in my favor in regards to these guys because they have high defense but low special defense. Meaning Twister will tear through them. I should ask him for delicious donuts. Why would I ask him for delicious donuts? I must be missing a reference of some kind. Light yours isn't time, it measures distance. You're a fool. <laughs> Nothing beats a jelly filled donut. Okay, that's what it was. See, you didn't use the jelly filled at the beginning, Andrew, that's why it threw me off. All right, let's just go into it. Let's kick his butt. Huh. Sorry about that, my mouth was on screen. That's obnoxious of me. I forgot Twister causes flinching. That is fantastic. That, that's amazing right there. Onyx. Oh, bind. Rude. That's too much like my gimmick. You start causing tornadoes all soon. That is both the reference to Spectacular Spider-Man and the fact that Onyx can learn the move Twister. At least in some generations. Level 16. Let's go. Yay! Badge number one! That wasn't even a challenge. No free health care- God! No, I've never done a no Pokemon Center run. That sounds terrible. Um, a YouTuber slash Twitch streamer called Small Ant did it once. And I think my dry bread used, did it once as well, if you're a fan of watching Pokemon Challenge videos. So, both of them have done it. Uh, Small Ant also did a run where he managed to be Pokemon Platinum without getting hit once. So, I bow before his superior Pokemon skills.
Okay, real quick, I'm gonna save. The bread guy. Yeah. Okay, according to this, it took five hours to grind like that. Isn't that absurd? That is disgusting, quite frankly. The bread guy. <laughs> he actually releases new Pokemon challenge videos every Saturday, so today would be the day. What was his today? Um... Yeah, yeah, real time would make this awful. Why do you think I was so enthusiastic about using a speed a speed up button for this? Yay, running shoes. Now I can crash into things super fast. Okay, so Professor Oak gave, mom gave them to Professor Oak to give to his assistant to give to us. Yeah, so Madri Bread actually does these real time. So I respect that he manages to do these every single week. All right, I'm gonna turn back on the jams. Yeah, it's obnoxiously slow on normal hardware. That's one good thing about the modern games is that with the exception of Sun and Moon's painfully long tutorial section, they all have a lot quicker of a pace. Look at that, that's the strat. Twister wrap. Ooh, okay, that's not good. I think Ekans has shed skin as well, but it didn't matter because it didn't proc. Don't respect that part. Stand by that torturing yourself with something tedious isn't impressive, it's stupid. It depends on what it is. Like, he doesn't mind doing Pokemon challenges, so I respect that he's willing to do that to make it more authentic. Like, I'm kind of being unfair by using speed up. It's obnoxious otherwise, but there's something more authentic about not using it. So I'm going to challenge every trainer I can because I need all the EXP I can. Not unfair all it does is save time. I mean, that's a fair point. Everybody wants to be a master. Everybody wants to show their skills. Everybody wants to get there faster. Make their way to the top of the hill. Each time you try, gonna get just a little bit better. Each step you climb, just one more step up the ladder. It's a whole new world we live in. It's a whole new way to see. Yeah, this is the theme for season three of the anime, Pokemon Johto. End of the day, just an option slash tool that can be used. Yeah, that's fair enough. I just feel like, ah, eh, yeah, you guys make a good point. I definitely just, I don't know. I always liked that part of it. Either that or I just felt too sympathetic for him. So that could be it. I'll be 100% honest, that might've been it.
I hesitated because fairy exists now, but it didn't back then. You can be destroyed by dragon moves in this. Thank God for that. Like, fairy type was the debuff that dragon needed, but that doesn't mean I'm happy about it. Huh. Steel resists dragon? I didn't know that. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's actually a thing. Like, not even kidding, Andrew. Small Ant did that. He's a madman. Like, he's a Mario Odyssey speedrunner, and he's done these insane Pokemon challenges. Probably because he hasn't learned fear like Pokemon fans have. Like, that's just my theory, though. Did you see how many times Rap just missed? That was insane. Alright, so Mount Moon is infamous for its encounter rate. Like, you can see why, right? This is insanely obnoxious. Team Rocket Grunt. Yay. Why am I missing so much? Oh, he hit me with a sand attack, didn't he? Oh, my God. Okay, that's rough. Prepare for trouble and make it double. Got I like what the anime turned Team Rocket into because in the game they're just like the mafia, but in the anime they're just a bunch of idiots, quite frankly. Oh yeah, didn't didn't manage to hit me with sand attack this time, did you, you dummy? Are you guys going to be doing the entire thing in the chat? Because that'd be hilarious. Star piece. Good, that's good money. Season one into a fully voice art. I would play the heck out of that, frankly. Like, my gosh. That is such a good idea. Why aren't we funding this? Fund this instead of Pokemon Unite, you fools. So, Pokemon Un Unite is something that they created, and I don't really know how to feel about it. It's League of Legends, but Pokemon. On the one hand, cool, it's a new Pokemon game. But, on the other hand, did we need League of Legends Pokemon? Level 20, here we go. League of Pokemon, Pokemon of Legends, indeed. You know, I just realized Lorelei is going to be a pain in my butt, isn't she? She's an ice type user. That's one of the Elite Four members of this game. Other than that, I'll at least have good type matchups for most of the enemies. I have to fight. Okay. So, now I'm gonna need to go back out, I think. And restore my power points. Pokemon Sleep? Pokemon MMO. Um... 
Nintendo hasn't done anything like that, but there's a project in development currently called Temtem that's kind of like that. It's very blatantly Pokemon, but not. Oh my god. Look at this. At least I'll get one extra move soon. I think at level 22, I get Dragon Rage. It only does 40 damage, but that should be enough to deal with the mooks around here. Uh, no. League of Legends is a MOBA, not an MMO. There are two different types of games. MMO means massive multiplayer online. That's why Sword Art Online is an MMO RPG. Or VR MMO RPG. Let's see. Yes! Malls on MOBA. Yes, Massive Online Battle Arena. Dab's got it. I mean, there's more than enough acronyms out there. I can understand anyone getting confused. So it's definitely understandable. I'm getting close to where I get a fossil, I think. Yes. Destroyed. Also destroyed. But not in one shot this time. Could be worse. Can you imagine if I was using a Zubat for this? That would be pain and suffering, the likes of which I would not wish upon my own worst enemies. Oh man, confusion. That's gonna be an. I have never played a MOBA, but I've seen them in action and they look like something that's. Could possibly be fun. Yes, Dragon Rage. That's another move. It does only 40 damage, but it's definitely better than nothing. Oh boy, which fossils should I take? The Helix Fossil or the Dome Fossil? Anarchy or Order? That is the question. Uh, I think I'm gonna need to go back out. No, I think I'm almost out. Yes. I can't take both. I mean, I don't know why he'd be able to stop me. I just defeated his Pokemon, but the game makes you be a nice person, whatever that means, so I can only take one of them. Now I couldn't pick the Helix Fossil for the Twitch Plays Pokemon meme, or I could pick the Dome Fossil for the sake of just creating mass anarchy within the world of Pokemon. You know what, the second one sounds more fun, so I think I'm gonna go with the Dome Fossil. Speak now or forever hold your peace if you object. Consult the Helix Fossil. Hmm. 
I don't speak its ancient tongue, so I can't exactly translate. Hmm. We have a Helix translator here? No? Because I have no clue what it is saying to us. I do not hear its voice. <laughs> I don't have access to the magic conch, Andrew. It is a shame, but I do not. I wish I did. Hmm. You know, I could always go back and heal, and then we can decide when I get back. It says to do nothing? Well, crap! Man, I guess I will go back and heal. Good thing speed up makes this a lot easier. All hail the magic con! Man, where was this meme image when I was playing the Spongebob game the other day? <laughs> Adulting, huh? That's boring. But understandable, I get that. Alright, unfortunately, I can't continue to do nothing. Oh, the remake of the Spongebob game? I enjoyed it. I don't really see any big problems with it. So... I'd give it a pretty good score. That might just be my nostalgia talking, so full disclosure there, but... I feel like it did its job as a remake and then some. It added a multiplayer mode and stuff. Which, you know, is unexpected and always appreciated. Um, I didn't really have any bad graphical glitches. I ended up in a wall at one point, but I was surprised that nothing bigger happened. Okay, I think I'm just going to take the Helix Fossil. I need to progress. Really? There was a day one patch for that? Well, that's good at least. Um, there's actually an insane speedrun for the Spongebob game, because... Nope, I can't learn how to punch, and I can't learn how to kick, can I? Nope. Dang shame. Rip, punching, and kicking.
blue fight and nugget bridge. So I'm gonna turn off the jams, turn back on the normal game sounds. What a, what a jerk, honestly. Uh, yeah, they do actually hurt EVs, I believe. EVs are effort values, which you get more points in the more, basically, the right Pokemon that you hurt. So, certain Pokemon give specific EVs. IVs are what your Pokemon are born with. So, rare candies do hurt your Eevees, but they can't do anything to your Ivies. I'm surprised you remember that, Andrew. That's some pretty high level stuff. Ah, uh, they hit me with a sand attack. Okay, if I can... I think the next Pokemon is the Abra, which gives me a free turn to heal, thank goodness. Yep. Ha, I can't teleport in battle, you fool. Like, I believe Abra gives you special attack I EVs, but I can't say for sure. That's not something I really look into too much. Might be something to think about. Could be useful for this. Like, look, my attack is almost 10 over my special attack. That sucks. Because most of the moves I plan on using are actually special attacks. Brain Scratch comms did one of the games, they spent an entire part rambling. Oh, yeah, I guess that would get you to listen to it. And I think he comes back to give us an item, yep. But that's an item that means nothing to us. Wait, did he just call me chatty? Son, I haven't said a word. How rude. Okay, grinding stuff is going back on because now we're doing Nugget Bridge. And then I'm probably going to take on Missy and we'll see what time it is. I might be getting close to ending for the evening. Just mass destruction because of Dragon Rage. This won't last forever because Dragon Rage only does a specific amount of damage, but while it lasts, it feels so good to have. I got a nugget. No, I don't want to join Team Rocket. I don't want to be part of the Mafia. Blah. Blah. Dead. Is this an enemy? Yep. Always gotta be careful to take on any enemy you can in a challenge run like this, so 
dark side, we have cookies. Hmm. See, he didn't offer cookies in the speech, so that's why I said no. If only he'd mentioned that. Like, I'm all for cookies. 45, which is that? Attract. That might be something useful to hang on to. Or it could be total garbage. It all depends. Because Elma is a female, that means male Pokemon that I use that on will have like a 50% chance to not be able to do anything. Which, you know, is very advantageous because anyone likes it when their enemies in an RPG can't do anything. I'd worry about being over level leveled at some point, but that won't last. Eventually my stats are going to slow down because I only have a base total of 300, which I think is equivalent to some starters in their first form. So this is going to rot fast. Tales of Berseria a lot less annoying. Uh, which part? <laughs> Over leveling? Yeah, that tends to make a lot of parts of RPGs easier, but then you'll end up getting complacent at some point and you'll find yourself being underleveled. Like, eventually my moves will stop being good too, and that's terrifying. Aha! You got tricks, so now I can get in there and get that item, you dumb fool. Another TM. Secret power. I think that one does different stuff based on the area you're in. I... Oh, when enemies hit you, they sometimes make it harder to attack. Yeah, like, um, a lot of it is called, like, charm or something in other RPGs. That's why one of those Pokemon took me out so easily back in Mount Moon, because they lowered my accuracy. Ooh. The champion theme for gold and silver. So yeah, Bill somehow turned himself into a Pokemon, and this is never brought up again. And why a teleporter comes equipped with a cell separator already, I have no idea. And why he couldn't put it on delay or something, but whatever. He's gonna give me a ticket to a cruise ship for this. Yep, the SS ticket. That's how I progress in the game. There's nothing fancy about it, Bill. Okay. So I'm gonna try a run of the gym. I should be fine. So clearly this is a water type gym. I like Horsey, that's a very fun Pokemon. It evolves into a water dragon type. Took everyone by surprise when that happened.
Not dab, not much. I just did the rival fight and Nugget Bridge. Got the SS ticket from Bill, now I'm battling the trainers in the gym. Also have Dragon Rage. That's fun. Alright. Let's take on the water type gym leader. I love Dragon Rage. I think at least for a little while my grinding is done, so I don't need to worry about something as painful as the five hours it took me to get where I am now. Let me guess, yep, Super Potion. Love the game, but it can get annoying. Same can hold true most RPGs, actually. Yes! Okay, this is amazing. We just got the TM for Water Pulse. Use it on an aquatic Pokemon, she says. Well, that's a lie. We're going to be using it on Dratini, because it can learn it. So say hello to my first type coverage move, everyone. I don't know why this teaches a Pokemon how to use a move by just tapping a CD to their head, but who might have question if it works or not? Let's see. I think I'll make it to Vermilion. Maybe do a bit of the SSN. I'll see. I'm I'm still good to keep going, so I'll go for a bit longer. I think. Battle scene off. Oh, I can get my HM slave if I head to Vermilion. So that seems like a good strat. So, this house had a Team Rocket grunt break into it, and he's just still here. It's not your yard. I'm an innocent bystander. Sure. So, I remember Water Pulse is actually a very good move to have. Does decent damage, even though I... I'm not a special attacker, I'm a physical attacker. So I might need to look into some high strength attacking moves eventually. Physical moves. That stings because a lot of Dratini's learn set comes from taking advantage of elemental attacks. 
the majority of which are special. Like, he'll hand me Dig right now, which is a the ground type move and thus physical, but Dratini can't learn it. Now, I could have changed this. I almost wish I had changed things so that I would have been able to use any TM on Elma, but that would go against the rules of the challenge. So I have to make, oh my God, he'd be zooming though. We, all right. So down here is Saffron. I cannot get in there yet because I don't have the T. And so begin shenanigans. We. This really is just a quality of life thing, unless you have speed up on when you're going up and down stairs, in which case you'll just keep doing it in a loop. My gosh, I'm already almost level 30. Maybe I should take it easy on the grinding. Because if I get too over leveled, it won't exactly be much of a challenge. Do I actually have an antidote on hand? Yeah. Eh. I think there's an enemy up close, actually, so I'll be able to save that. Yep. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Didn't even need to use an antidote because I knew there were more enemies. Okay. Ooh. Ah, oh, man. See, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about right there. I just got destroyed by that Raticate. So now I've got to go all the way back. I think he got a crit. I wasn't paying too much attention, unfortunately. So I can't really pay attention. I can't really acknowledge and make sure I can't make that mistake again. But whatever. It's no big. Once I get the versus recorder, it won't even be an issue if I end up losing a little bit of money here and there, because I can just rematch people for more money. I was eradicate. Oh my god, that that's terrible. Put a quarter in the bad pun jar, my man. My gosh, that's awful. But I respect it all the same. Eradicated. That kind of thing should be illegal in most countries. Whatever happened did not happen that time. The jar's already full? Well then spend the money on something. On a bigger jar. That That's the strat. Okay, since I'm here, I can trade fodder for the Spiro, for the um, Farfetch'd. Now, which house is that in? This one, I think. Yep. We. The important thing is I didn't ro I ro didn't fall behind to. Oh my gosh. You put some money in the jar too, man. My gosh. That is unnecessary. I feel personally attacked. Gosh. Hey, I got a fishing rod. Not that I'll need that. Oh. You already rode it. Oh my god. Ah, oh, man. I'm, I'm getting terrorized here. Skip through this annoying guy's dialogue, and when I head back to Cerulean, I'll be able to get a bike voucher. I can do the SSN. Ooh, 
Ooh, I got a hyper potion from the trash can. Okay. Um, on one hand, slam is a physical move, but it's got crap accuracy, so I'll just find a way to remember it if I need it. Am I getting dirt-trained by these bad puns? Uh, no, I don't think I am. I think that one was an attempt at a pun, but I don't think I got it. The old drag on. Oh my gosh. I appreciate it. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. Good thing about Dratini is it is a pseudo legendary, so I will be at least semi effective for a while. At least until the point where I'm supposed to evolve, and then I'm going to start falling. Really? You turned it into a fairy tale pun slash reference. I respect that so much. My god. Delaying over here. Okay, I need to figure out which bed is mine. Is it this one? Yes. Okay, second from the right on the first floor. Okay, so I'm already at the point where, unless I find an Everstone, I'm going to have a situation on hand because I can't cause my Pokemon to evolve or the challenge is over. Catch them all. Show me what you've got. <laughs> oh, you caught these Pokemon from all around the world? Then why are they only Kanto Pokemon, you dummy? Like, there's no excuse for that in Generation 3. Oh, global police agent on the trail of Team Rocket. You guys think he knows Looker? Slash Doctor Who? Ooh, a great ball. That's what I need. Wait, what? I am Le Chef. La Man Corsa is Eels are barbecue. Let's get so meat to me, I fear. Barbecued eels. Barbecued eels. Oh. Berries in the garbage. That's efficient. Let's see. Captain's a swordmaster. Platter will be electrified. Oh my gosh. I'm getting ganged up on by these puns. That's terrible. All 
All right. Super slick. I mean, hey, I definitely respect it. You are very quick with those puns. The both of you are. Like, you are on fire. Nope. Yep, that was a Snorlax. <sighs> okay, I feel like I might run into a wall as soon as I run into my rival again. Like, he's a tough cookie. Safari Zone. Yeah. I appreciate that they advertise for being all over the world, but the people here have only been to Kanto. Where the heck does the ship go, actually? I've never even thought about that. Because as soon as I'm done here, the ship will end up leaving for unknown regions. And in any of the other games, I don't think I've ever seen it pull into port. I think it might be referenced in Gen 3 in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, but I can't say for sure. I don't remember much about the Nautical Museum, which is actually a thing there. Alright. I think Gary's up that hallway, so... Alright. Next boss of the run, let's do it. says bonjour okay so apparently this goes to france but i don't remember the ssn and kalos okay let's see what we can do One down, it didn't lower my my accuracy or anything. Radicate. Okay, that lowers my defense. That might not be good. Better than if he'd actually attacked me, though. I can deal with lowered defense. No, it is not as crazy as turning a graveyard into a radio tower. I don't know why Gen 2 decided to do that. Bunch of psychopaths. Like, that has to be one of the weirdest things that Gen 2 did to Kanto. Oh, other than the fact that for some reason all Pokemon are at the same levels as when you encounter them in a Kanto game, instead of being higher leveled because technically it's post-game content. So even if there were Pokemon in Kanto that you'd want to have join your team, you'd need to level them up hard to get them to match because you can only get to Kanto after the Elite Four, which I don't understand. You'd think the average wild Pokemon would be like level 60 or something at that point. All right. 
Hey, kicked his butt. Nope. Refuse to let you evolve. You're banned. You're saying I'm little noodle forever. Cup master. I'm bored. Seasick old man. Yep. What a bud. Gary freaking out. Yep, I gotta rub this guy's back. Having a. S <laughs> and it has the free healthcare sound effect. All right. So now I can teach HM1 cut to my HM slave. And now I can get into the gym. Alright, that's everything on the boat. Bye, boat. See you never. Also, it is way bigger on the inside. Like, do you see how small that boat is? That's weird. And you can't even surf there because you're not allowed to go back in there. Why Dratini specifically? No, that's a good question. It's not actually one of my favorites. I just figured it would be a pretty entertaining run to do because I've seen people do other solo Pokemon runs, like Madrybra did a Gibble run of Gen 4. So I just figured Dratini could use some love. I don't really feel any attachment to it and I know it's not the best Pokemon. And I think that's enough reason for me to give this run a shot. Alright. Gym time. Look at this. We're on gym, gym number three already. Didn't even need to switch the audio back or anything because it's that quick. Well, I say that now, but this gym puzzle is an obnoxious one. Yeah, see, look, Dragon Rage, my strongest move, is already not one hit KOing because it does set damage. That's gonna be obnoxious for a while. I wish I could say I had a good reason to do Dratini, but I just felt like it, to be honest. I might eventually pick a favorite Pokemon only run, but for now, that's not this. I just don't feel any attachment to it. Um. Do you guys have a favorite Pokemon that you'd try to run through a game with? I know you guys said that you don't do much with Pokemon, so I can't see you ever doing a solo run, but it's actually really fun. You have to really think about every move that you have. Because you do not want to end up in a situation where you have a move that's ineffective. An only Charizard run? That's hardly a challenge, man. That's a fully evolved starter Pokemon. Those are pretty tough. But, I guess doing a 
run with just it could end up being difficult. Yes! One of the YouTubers I watched did a run with only a Mudkip in Generation 1. No, Gen 3. With Pokemon Emerald. And he somehow... The Madman managed to beat the entire game without using HM Slaves. It was insane. Ooh, Eevee? Yeah. I can see that being an issue. I don't think Eevee has a very good learn set, depending on the game. So I can see that getting difficult quick. Okay. I'm gonna go out and heal. Then I'll solve the puzzle and go beat the gym leader. I mean, I'm decent at the game, Andrew, and I'd probably have trouble with this run, much less any other kind of solo run where I'm not using a pseudo-legendary like Dratini. Let's see, um, kind of stupid that this gym and the next kind of ban you from leaving your HM slave in the box because you need it to get into the gym. Okay, so this is an obnoxious puzzle. Basically, you need to look in the trash cans. Find a switch. And then hope you find the other switch. Yes! Okay, that took... Yeah, for some reason, the animation locks when I'm doing a running in when I'm running sometimes so it looks like he's just posing really hard to assert dominance. Save. Lieutenant Surge. Uh, yeah, I could go try to get my HM Slave KO'd before I go in. I'll definitely try to do that. If I leave them knocked out in my party, that would make things easier, because then there's no chance of them coming in. The problem is that that's a long process to get your HM slave knocked out like that. Especially if they know enough HM moves, because those can be kind of decent in battle. It, it all depends. I might try that for the Celadon gym. I've got a pretty high speed stat, that's gonna be helpful. It really gives me an option. Man, if I recall correctly, for Pokemon Yellow, the third game for the original Pokemon, Red and Blue, uh, Lieutenant Surge only had his Raichu, which was boosted up to like level 30 or something ridiculous, because they were trying to make it closer to the anime. So, you started with Pikachu, and then you were given other Pokemon, like the other three starters at certain points in the game. Alright! Lieutenant Surge! Nope. Your life has been denied. Okay. Correct. No sprinklers to use on Brock's Onyx. I get Onyx. I guess they figured that was too unfair. Okay, so this is another TM I'm able to use for more coverage. So I'm all about that. And I believe this is now my strongest move. 
It still burns off the special stat, though. Let's see. Alright. That went pretty well, actually. Yeah, look at that. He runs like he's T-posing at you. But sometimes he glitches out of it and actually runs normally like a loser. Okay, so I think I'm gonna head back up to Cerulean and prepare myself for Rock Tunnel. So I'll grab the bike and make my way over across the route to where Rock Tunnel is at. And then I think I'm going to call it for the night because it's almost 10 p.m. my time. Yeah, you're... Well, to be fair, Dav, he kind of got destroyed at some points, like, in a completely unfair fashion. Um, the championships in Sinnoh, for example, kind of just sucked. He was up against a guy that had a team full of legendaries, so it's no wonder he kind of got crushed. Then in Yanova, the black and white anime, they kind of gave him some kind of problem where he was just even more stupid than he was at the start. Oh, yeah, you didn't see that, Dav? It was insane. He got absolutely obliterated by, I think the son of a gun's name is Tobias. But at what cost? What's up with his face in the new anime? Oh, do you mean Pokemon Journeys or do you mean Sword and... Or do you mean Sun and Moon? Because Sun and Moon, I definitely had a problem. They took, they scaled it way down to like cartoon level instead of anime levels. Latest anime you've seen is Johto? Okay. Um, he kind of was unfairly treated at the end of Johto. Oh, Alola. Yeah, you're talking about Sun and Moon. Yeah, that makes sense. They turned it into a cartoon instead of an anime, which was weird. Uh, Tobias just wrecked him unfairly. In Johto, he was treated unfairly because his opponent had Pokemon from Hoenn. Which is just plain absurd. Because Ash didn't even know Hoenn existed. Probably trying to appeal to younger Western... Yeah, I can see that, I suppose. I still wish we'd have more... Shows like Avatar or Teen Titans that are anime inspired. Didn't finish the islands. Do you mean the Orange Islands, Andrew? Because that's from a while ago. That was like uh, season two of the anime. Season one was Kanto, then Orange Islands, then Johto, Hoenn, Battle Frontier, Sinnoh, Yanova. It might be a much cheaper animation style, which isn't really an excuse with how much money Pokemon makes, but I can see them trying to justify it that way. It is one of the most, like, profitable, um, franchises in the entire world, so... They could afford to throw money at their animation budget. Aerial Ace. That'd be cool if I could learn it. I can't blame you for that. What? No kidding, Dad. It beats Star Wars? 
that that's funny to me. That is hilarious to me that Pokemon makes more money than Star Wars. I wonder if that says more about Pokemon's increasing popularity or Star Wars' like kind of decline? Diamond and Pearl was on all the time. Yeah, it really was. I remember Diamond and Pearl being on like the most consistently of any of the Pokemon anime. Uh, my favorite series has to be Battle Frontier though. The one that they did in between the Hoenn Championships and in between the Hoenn Championships and the start of Sinnoh. You were there when the original came out? Yeah, that does make you older than us. I was born the year it came to America, 98, so. I was a babu. You know what, when I'm done, four years older, yeah. Well, hey, you got to watch it, like, as it came to the US. That's a pretty big moment in, like, pop culture history, so that's pretty cool. Watch the so much cooler Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, I feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! did look cooler. Pokemon looked a lot cutesier, I suppose. So I can kind of see that. Like, that's an understandable thought process to have. Don't feel bad about that. I never really got into Yu-Gi-Oh! or Digimon or anything. So, Pokemon was definitely my first anime, but I always thought of it as a cartoon. Couldn't get past the hair. Yeah, I the hair in Yu-Gi-Oh was a bit intense even by anime standards. Like that is just why and how. Hasn't Yu-Gi-Oh! actually been rebooted, like, a bunch of times? I don't really remember. I think maybe it's, like, all things in the same universe, but different timelines or something. Oh, your first anime was Bakugan? I remember watching Bakugan. Man, that's a deep cut. Bakugan. Man. That was certainly a show. The details on the card- yeah, the cards looked amazing on Yu-Gi-Oh. I think in my mind, like, never figured out the barrier between what was in the game and what was actually happening in Yu-Gi-Oh. Long timeline with a crazy plot like Kingdom Hearts or Metal Gear Solid. My god. Two worlds collide on the inside. Wow. I'm getting all sorts of memories just flashing right now. I don't remember watching much of Bakugan, but I remember enjoying the parts of it that I did see. Let's see, uh, the first anime I saw that I actually thought of as an anime was probably early Naruto, like part one. It was on Toonami. A KH is thousands of years long, so I can tell. Don't understand them, but first was Inu- 
Inuyasha or Yu Yu Hakusho. Wow. See, I know about both of those, but I've never seen either. Lots of blank space, but still. Um, I know a friend of mine really likes Inuyasha, but I just never watched it. I don't remember the first time I actually saw a show in order, because Pokemon was being narrated out of sequence. Like, it was being aired out of sequence when I watched it, so I was very confused. Oh, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Couldn't understand the words, but loving the visuals and seeing the expressions. Yeah, I love how expressive anime is. It's incredible. Especially compared to some of the modern cartoons that are made with, like, Flash. I don't want to just all Flash cartoons, but they're really simple, and that kind of bothers me as a fan of anime-style shows. I just never could get over that. So I don't really give a lot of modern shows a chance because of that design choice. Start. The name of that is familiar, but you're not sure where you've heard of it? Uh, name of what? Inuyasha? You can see classic western cartoons and Disney movies. Yeah! Classic Disney can definitely make anyone a fan of 2D animation. Kind of a shame that nowadays it's kind of faded out and there's mostly 3D animation. I'd love to see a good 2D animated film back in theaters. Oh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Uh, it's a part of Shonen Jump. I don't really know anything else about it. Like, I'm just aware that it exists. I would definitely buy tickets to a 2D movie. Just to encourage it to not die out, honestly. Because when it comes to love the series, but yes, yes. Shrek and the DreamWorks Studio. Yeah, that really birthed CGI. And the way that they did it kind of killed 2D animation. Because everything after Shrek wanted to be Shrek. So they wanted to make 3D animated stuff. Like, I really enjoyed Shrek, but I'm not a fan of what it did to the animation. Oh, you blame Pixar personally. Wow. I mean, yeah, that also makes sense. I feel like Pixar and DreamWorks are really the guilty ones when it comes to this. I don't know which start. Um, Pixar 3D movies started coming out first, but I feel like DreamWorks made them super popular with Shrek, so. Let's see, because Toy Story came out while well, it was still the 90s, but Shrek was 2001, I think, so. That little bubble of time is what did it. Yeah, Toy Story was insanely popular at the time. I remember loving it when I was a kid. 
I still enjoy it. I don't know enough on the matter to really speak on it as an expert, so I kind of just push my focus on that kind of thing onto Shrek. Because it kind of started the lazy, dumb humor idea. Like, Shrek was actually really creative, but it doesn't always look like it at first glance. So, a lot of people thought they could get away with dumb 3D cartoons to try to cash in on Shrek's success, compared to what you'd think as the more heartfelt ones like Pixar. Let's see, okay, that... Disney did try their hand on it with Chicken Little, but it destroyed Chicken Little to try that. It was not successful. Like, I still remember liking it when I was a kid, but I know it's got its issues. Okay. Uh, it is now past 10 my time. I feel like I made a lot of progress. I started, I... Oh, look at that. It says I played for 9 hours. <laughs> Alright, so I think I'm going to end the stream here. Age about... Yeah, it did. Oh! Yeah, I heard Klaus was good. Alright, so I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care, guys. I'll try to get back to this at some point soon. See ya!